problem was in our marriage, why she was acting the way she was acting. And we went to Palaka to um, where she's from in her family. And, and her dad is a pastor? Yes, yes, ma'am. He's a bishop. And mm -hmm. he, um, she told him and me that she did not want to no longer want to be with somebody normal. She wanted to be with a, 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 a musician. So that's what she got right now. To help her with her career. So she was willing to take your child with another so man? So basically, she is not married to this man. She's not married to him at all. She's still married to you. And so did you try to reach out to the band, to the to the forest guy? I tried to reach out to him. And what did he say? Manager, uh, Robert Hatcher. And all I get from Robert Hatcher was a bunch of threats. And so her manager is threatening you. And what did the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the fake husband say when you say... Well, the only time I talked to him was when my son was turning three. Uh, she was on tour at the time, and um, I wanted to throw his birthday party for him. And um, She told me to give her a couple of weeks and call her, so I did. And when I called, he answered her phone. Mm -hmm. and, um, did you tell him that's your child? Uh, yeah, well, before I could even say anything, um, he questioned who I was on the phone. Who I, was, I, I told him, Michael. And he was like, Michael, who? I said, um, her husband, Michael. And he kind of went off, and um, he was like, you know, that's Molly Ann. You ain't her motherfucking husband. I'm her motherfucking husband now, blah, blah, blah. You can't see your son until you get my permission. So, oh, so he, he he taking over like he the father. Yeah. And I haven't seen my son since he was eight months. So. Eight months old. Yeah. But you still yeah. married to this woman. Yes, ma'am. And this woman is living the public life saying that she's married to, to this, what's his name, Frank? Uh, Forrest Walker. Forrest. Yes. And they got your baby over there. Yes, ma'am. And you can't see your child. And my son is calling him daddy. Matter of fact, a, a, a man that doesn't even take care of his own responsibility and living off of a woman all these years. So what kind of morals can you teach my child? So. Why do you think she would keep your child from you? I have no clue. I've never done anything to this woman. I've been loyal. I, matter of fact, I've even helped her career. You know, her studio time, all that stuff. I've put work for that and put that into it for her. So, so what is this police report where somebody... Well, she... Um, when I left uh, the situation uh, where her dad dropped me off in the middle of nowhere. So her father knows he's a bishop and he knows that she's married and playing on TV like she's married to somebody else and keeping your son. What did the church say? Did you go to the church? I went to him and uh, basically he knows knew what was going on, but he basically told me that's my daughter and she will always be my daughter. So he sided with her? Yes. So he and then basically got, had me get into the church van with his brother and they dropped me off uh, somewhere and told me Hope you don't say anything bad about the family or the church and that was that and they left and so basically they just like get away we not my daughter is not dealing with you basically basically stay away from 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 your son yes and all i did was uh bring pampers every week i would bring his supplies like pampers um, baby furniture and i would have to drop it off at the church in front of the door because her aunt and would not let me see my child. So, so they all know that this is your child and yes. the church is hiding this secret and told you to get, get away from the church. Basically, yes. And they attacked you? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, With hands? Like they physically yes, attacked you? Yes, They would, uh, matter of fact, almost every day they would try to uh, look for me. Uh, we have a place in Orlando called El Orlando L House and she knew that was where I would go watch sports at. And they would come there and show up. and But uh, the... The um, guys that work there, they wouldn't let them, you know, touch me or anything. But mm -hmm. her two brothers that would come up there, the one that um, got killed, um, uh, Greg, him and uh, her brother Terrence would come up there and basically. So we have police reports here with Leadria Johnson. Mm -hmm. We got Terrence Johnson. We have Greg Johnson, where they assaulted him with bodily arm where he was trying to see his son and, and uh, you know, try to speak with her about seeing his son. So he has police reports. He has marriage licenses, uh, divorce complaint, where he's trying to get a legal divorce from her and um, trying to get a DNA done to get visitation rights to see his son that another man is claiming and threatening him to stay away from. So 
what what reason can you give that other besides she wanted a man that was a musician or that could help her career and she feels that you didn't have the money to do that or why would she or do you think I always worked I always had a job she just I guess she just that's what she wanted you know was she drinking or doing any type oh, of yeah, drugs yeah she was she was part, big time party she partied all the time does she still party um, well, I told you I seen on on the internet. Well, shit, honey, enough. you know she saved and Jesus did uh, turn child, don't water. Trust no nigga, don't trust no Christian. Jesus did turn water into wine. God don't damn it. trust no nigga, don't trust no Christian. I seen her on YouTube drunk and yeah. singing "Drunk in Love," yeah. uh, uh, a drunk as hell. Yeah. I seen her on the Preachers of Atlanta show with a tutu on, little shirt, the show, uh, 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 and tennis shoes, walking down the street like a hooker drunk. To me, I felt like it's just a fast fuck. And I said, well, what is going on? So then in my mind, I was like, well, why would she just keep your son away from you? Even if she married, or why would she not get a divorce first? But even if she wanted to marry somebody else to help further her career, if this is your child, why would she say, not say you got visitation rights and well, pay child support and see your son? You know, well, if you're there's willing. Some, there's some papers down there where she in, went to court in Orlando where she tried to strip my rights from my child back in 2013. She tried to strip you of rights. Yeah, behind my back. With it, can you Do you think it? she divorced you behind your back? Can she you try? Show it? She tried. She tried, but uh, she got denied. She got denied. Yes, she did. It's so many. You brought so much documentation. Yeah. To, Dear God in heaven. Wanted to prove everything. Dear God in but heaven. But I've been telling y'all how these shows be faking these marriages and these people don't really be married for real. Here it is, this That's man funny. is a legend that this woman is still married to him with Peace. his child. And she's on the show pretending to be married to another man. When this man is willing to take care of his child, wants to be a part of this child's life, wants to see this child and financially support this child. And she is denying this man. It ain't always the men that be with the bullshit. Sometimes it's these thinking ass hoes that be with the bullshit. Sometimes it's these Christian bitches that don't wear no stockings. That be with the bullshit. Sometimes it's just these regular motherfuckers that have children and use children as pawns, you know, and 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 and, 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 and treat men like shit. So it ain't always the men that don't, you know, want to take care of their goddamn kids. Here it is, this man want to take care of his child, and 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 she's keeping him from his child. And I don't under, I, I, it's 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 got to be something else to this story. It is. I just feel like there's some loopholes, there's yeah. some holes in the story, you know, and we're not being shady, Mr. Underwood, but I just feel like it's some loopholes. Did you ever put hands on her? You never. 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 You ain't never beat her? If you read in her, in her, in her interviews, you know, she, or say her first husband, she said with her first husband, you know, she was too young, you know, when they got married. And then when they asked about her second marriage, to me, she said that, you know, she was just living an ungodly life. She still looked like she's living an ungodly life to me because if you was living godly, you would let this man see his child if this is his child. Because if she was stepping out on you when y'all was only married for three months, it might she might have been out there fucking. Yeah. But this is about She might have been out there slinging that Christian pussy. <laughs> but sister, if you know, this might be somebody else's child. Where is the other husband? I want the other, other husband, them other two girls that she had. Because that daddy, that bishop, you know your daughter is a hooker mixed with whore. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. it. And the first husband, her and her brothers basically did the same thing with me. They tried to run him off. They ran him off successfully, but they didn't run And look at the brothers. Off. Yeah. They, and trying to take up for their sister. Now, y'all yeah. ain't wrong for taking up for y'all sister, but if y'all know y'all sister a hooker mixed with whore and then want to try to act like she's this sanctified priestess, bitch, see, that's why I don't put, bitch, you couldn't lay your stinking skin hands on me, bitch. And what's funny is her brother, the, Michael, the youngest one, Michael Johnson, you know, he's he's in her church preaching to people and all this type of stuff. But yet, you go on his Facebook, him and his brother Terrence is sitting there smoking weed, smoking a blunt, all that. In the, in the, in the, yeah, the, the Lord ain't said you can't smoke a little bit of reaper. But, you know, <laughs> I ain't going to hate on y'all about smoking a little bit of reaper because yeah. you might have a license to smoke. Well, you know? we about to open but up the line. you know what, Terrence, y'all? Ain't nothing but God could have kept me off their ass because if it would have been my son, I'd have been over there fucking y'all niggas up. It would have been, it, we would have had police reports, all right, but I'm going to make sure because I'm glad you're a man of God and then go see if you can take your son. Okay, well, what we going to do? Because I would have took my goddamn son. Them niggas would, I would have went and got my son. But if that's your child, you have every right to be a part of his life. So we need to get her here, uh, Leadra, so we can 
bring them jaws to be. As a matter of fact, bring them jaws and them other two children jaws and this other. Oh, she, she got four children now. Bring all those children jaws because the way you slinging pussy and disappearing, doing disappearing acts, we don't know who these children belong to. I got some more stuff here for you too. Here's what some, you got? This is some uh, messenger conversations me and her had. Oh, y'all been talking on messenger? Out, when I reached out to her, 2014. I'm going to have to open up the lines. We're going to have to let the people chime in on this situation. These are messages that he has. He's texting her. You know, we need to talk. I want to see my son. I want to be in his life. You know, I'm, I'm, he wants the papers. He, You know. I'm opening up the lines, ladies and gentlemen. He has text messages from her phone. He has all the, the papers to back this stuff up. That's why if it's about subpoenaing him. See, it's the difference when you got money, you want green leaf, you want preachers of Atlanta, you want Sunday's best, and you have money and lawyers. And this man is just a regular middle class, hard working black man that don't have no money to be paying no lawyers to be hunting you down and subpoenaing you and paying the lawyer to go to court and paying for this and paying for that when a bitch trying to get gas and groceries. So it's a difference. So yes, it, a bitch with some money, people ask the question, well, why can't he go? No. Motherfuckers, you, you know how it is when you're trying to chase a nigga down to get that child support? It ain't no motherfucking difference. So don't ask, question this man about why can't you get your son? A bitch will hide. A bitch will, will go. You know, she don't want to be bothered with this man. She, you know, the, bitches is nymphos. Sex man, you Well, she, if you see it, Gabrielle Union like to lick ass, well, I'm yeah. sure she was saved know, at one I point. I think anyway. her adopted parents had something to do with fucking her up. She was yeah. around hippies and yeah. all kind of motherfuckers was fucking in front of her, watching porn in front of her, so she was playing well with at five. If them babies come out to be your, just like we gonna swab all these babies, if any of them fetuses at the baby chop shop, at the children's chop shop, match your DNA, Gabrielle, any of those bones or skeletal feces matches you, bitch. Your, your ass licking days is over. <laughs> and, and Leandria. You next, bitch. Because if this is this man's child, he has every right to be in this child's life, bitch. There's too many black fathers that are not in children's life. So I don't care if he had two, three, or six daddies, you wide, loose puss, bitch. Let all six of these kings be in this child's life because he needs that, bitch. Don't keep, don't keep Dunker from his real daddy. Don't keep Dunker from his real motherfucking daddy. He need to know his real daddy. He look like his daddy to me. Now, if I swab you... And that ain't none of your child. You Don't be surprised. If you go get the firing squad. But at least you want to know. But he look like you. Yeah. But I'm, I'm saying that to say this because a bitch that disappeared two and three months after, right after y'all get married, there's them warning signs. Uh, 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 I feel like a few months, three, four months, y'all got married too soon. That's a warning sign. That's why I was saying I'm not hating on Cardi B. I'm not hating on, 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 on Gucci or, 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 or none of them. You got to get to know people and their children, their, their background, their mental health status, what they do, they likes, they dislikes, what are they afraid of, their fears, their childhood background, what their family, what they done been through. You know, you can't just go marrying people, then you find out this bitch is a drunk, a sex maniac. A whore, a out, slut, uh, in, in, in an ass liquor. In costume, fucking in the strip club. A net nola cream, a net nola bleaching cream, fair and white skin, you using know, ass Charmaine the God. You know Charlemagne put on wigs in the wee hours of the morning. Y'all know that. That bitch is fucking goddamn y'all know bitch. so you gotta you gotta take time to get to know people you that bitch didn't know that man bitch who was visiting that man in prison in the one man cell on the one charlie mental health motherfucking ward stop acting like y'all was in love you don't know that man bitch just like he knocked back breezy teeth i hope he gonna be knocking your head off in six months when he find out that you wasn't by chance you don't know that man we are on this case, guys. I'm just saying. God that's why I gotta tell y'all. This ain't by hey, Y'all got to get to know these people. He didn't know this whore. No. Hell, ever did she was a whore. She married and then took his goddamn child. He ain't seen his child since he was eight months old. The baby by eight or seven. Get that baby here, bitch. Just like, you better get that baby. And I ain't giving you 30 days, bitch. I need an explanation for and this. And 10. By Sunday. Because you know all the church people going to be talking about your dog drunken ass and won't know if that's that baby. They're going to sneak and swap that baby and send that shit. Go and get the DNA test from CVS. It's $89. Swap that baby, bitch, and get that baby here. Yeah. This man wants to see his child. He has every right to see this child. He's not making up these calls. Allegedly. But we do have proof. And this man needs an attorney. Do we have any upcoming attorneys or somebody out there that can get this girl subpoenaed? So if this is his child, he can be a part of his child's life. Leadria, bitch, we wants to see this child. 
Uh, we're opening up the lines. You see, I've been reaching out to her for a whole year. Yes, we do. We're opening up the lines, ladies and gentlemen. The lines are open. And then when she finds Jamel, she says, uh, "Do what yeah, you got to do." Are you here, dear? All right, ladies and gentlemen. The call-in yeah. number. The call-in number is five.